Okay, I'm going to be showing you guys the probably the most simple terminal or terminal emulator out there. And that is um, that is ST by the guys over at Suckless. And if you know me or if you've seen him in my videos before, you know I'm a big fan of all the basically all the su Suckless software out there. Um, and ST is no different. And what ST is um, is what it stands for is the simple terminal or Sometimes people call it the suckless terminal too, but it's officially called the simple terminal. And the reason uh, people over at Suckless made it is there's a lot of there's a lot of terminals out there like Xterm, uh, RxVT, URxVT, Alacrity. If you don't know any of those, those are just a bunch of different terminals, uh, terminal emulators. And the, the one problem that a lot of them have is they have a lot of these modes and uh, a lot of these modes and support for all these different types of terminals that people just don't use nowadays or that don't need to be emulated at all um, and take up just a lot of space and so what ST aims to solve is to take all of that all those unneeded unnecessary modes out or support out and just support the bare minimum like what's needed um, and I say they do a really good job of that so of course, they still support, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, useful things like they still have, you know, still handle clipboards. You can uh, create mouse and key uh, keyboard bindings. It supports Unicode, a uh, bunch of symbols, colors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, basically, what you want out of a terminal emulator. And of course, if there's features that you, you know, that aren't in ST that you want, you can go ahead and just like any other suckless program, you can just go ahead and patch it, or patch in what features you want. So, it's a great, uh, great terminal emulator altogether. Um, and the programs that, of course, like I said, aren't there, you can just go ahead and patch in. They have patches for everything between transparency to X resources to um, scroll back to different colors or t color schemes. And just a bunch of things in general. It's um, like I said, with suckless suckless software, the sky's the limit, basically. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you ST. Um, although there's not much to show, since it's just a terminal emulator. There's not many exciting things with terminal emulators, but I'll go ahead and show what I can. So here's ST, and you've probably seen it in probably every single one of my videos because it's a term. It's the terminal I've used for the longest time because. It's just such a great and simple terminal. So you can actually view a lot of information on the ST man page. And here it will give you um, arguments, command line arguments, and shortcuts, and that's really it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you just a few things. So unlike most terminals, or a lot of terminals out there, ST, one thing that doesn't have, I, I'm going to go ahead and show you. If I... Um, Oh, here we go. If I have a very long document, um, and I or very long file, and I want to print out ST by default doesn't actually have scroll back support, so I can't scroll up and down by default, which might be a make or break thing for a bunch of people. Um, but what you can do is you can, of course, patch that in, and I'll get, I'll go ahead and show you that. But I'm gonna show you a few of my key bindings first, so. Um, one key binding you already saw, which is, uh, actually trying to speak you for this. Um, so if I hit control shift page up, uh, that will increase the font size or page down will decrease the font size. Um, so I can, you know, increase and decrease it for things like recording videos. If I do control shift home, that'll bring it back to normal. So I bring that back. But I, uh, let's just say I want to print this file. Uh, one one key binding I have, or two key bindings actually, um, to actually scroll back through the history. And I I, go, I went ahead and patched this in because I think this should be in every terminal. And so I went ahead and patched this into my build of ST. Is if I do Control Shift K, I can scroll up, and Control Shift or yeah, Control Shift K, J, I can go ahead and scroll down. So I think those are just some basic. Um, uh, key bindings that I built, uh, built into my build because 
scroll back for a terminal should be common sense. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, actually. Okay. So those are the key bindings that I chose. And uh, one other thing that uh, ST supports is, of course, um, Unicode characters, like I said. So if I go ahead and actually um, let me go ahead and open up uh, and just copy some random Unicode characters. So um, let me just look up. Let me just look up emojis. Why? Might as well. And if I go here, and I can just go ahead and just grab a handful of these, copy them, and if I echo that, you can see that ST has support for emojis or and Unicode characters in general. So there actually are some terminals out there that do not support um, Unicode characters, emojis, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's a nice thing to have by default, um, which is surprising, but um, a very useful thing to have none, uh, nonetheless. So just like any other suckless program, uh, ST, I can go ahead to the folder I have located or have it located at. Um, just like any other program, you compile it from source code and configure it uh, there. So you have a config.h file, and in this file you have all of your settings that you want to configure. For example, uh, font, border, show utilities, um, and just a, uh, basically everything you want to um, want to configure. Uh, color schemes. I know a lot of people are very particular about their color schemes. <laughs> I, I guess I'm I, I'm included in there as well, um, as well as key bindings, so you can change and add, remove key bindings as you wish. For example, my key bindings uh, for scrolling up and scrolling down are added right here. And you can also just add the source code in general and add whatever you like because it's that's just the way Suckless programs are. So if I actually go ahead um, and I go ahead and make this, oh, looks like it's over there. Uh, if I go ahead and make ST, and I'll actually go ahead and show you how big it is. So ST is around 110 kilobytes. That's pretty small. I'm going to take a look at, um, let me try downloading um, Xterm. Um, let's see how big that is. So Xterm is around 449 kilobytes, so almost half a megabyte. Compared to ST, that's X term is considered pretty small. So compared to ST, ST is even smaller than that. So that's 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 a pretty small terminal emulator. So that's that's pretty crazy. But that's basically um, all, all I can show on ST. Like I said, there's not that much you can really show with a terminal emulator because it just does one thing. It, do, it does it well, which is just you know emulate the terminal. But it's a great program, very simple, uh, very nice, and I definitely 100% recommend it. So yeah, I'll see you guys whenever.